something that I believe is super important for everybody who's trying to record things professionally is to have a good DI box. Now, there's a ton of them out there and they can get kind of expensive because not every DI box can do everything that you need it to. Some DI boxes are only meant for passive instruments, some are only meant for active. But I believe I've found the ultimate DI box that's great for any application and won't cost you a fortune. Today I'm going to talk a bit about my secret weapon and it's by a company called Little Labs and this is their Red Eye 3D. It is both a passive and active DI but it's also a reamper. So you're basically getting three units in one small package. On the front end of the Red Eye 3D, we have the active instrument input. You have to engage the phantom power on your preamp to turn on the active aspect of the DI. Anything with active electronics will need this, so a lot of metal guitars and basses will utilize this. Then we have an earth lift which can help if you are getting any noise or hum from an instrument. You then have the instrument reamp polarity switch. This is basically a phase switch, but it's recommended you only use it when hooking other units up through the expansion ports on the back. Then you have the DI reamp switch, which switches the functionality of the unit to be either a DI or a reamper. There's a neat switch on the front called the reamp overdrive, and it adds a nice 10 dB boost to the reamp signal. Is great if your level from your instrument is kind of low, or if you want a bit more distortion on the way in, kind of like a gain pedal. The manual actually says metalheads will like this. Last is the instrumental reamp level knob, and this is something I haven't seen on many DIs in the past. Basically, this gives you a bit of extra volume control for your DI signal at the DI box level. When you engage the reamp overdrive, this acts as a bit of a wet dry blend for the overdrive, I find. Then you just have the instrument reamp out. Here, you would go into an amp. If you are reamping, then this is where your signal goes out from your DAW to the amp. If you're just using it as a DI, then this is where your instrument is going to the amp. On the back, we have the expansion output and input. There are a few Little Labs products that work well in conjunction like this. I've even heard of people connecting more Red Eye 3Ds to act as a splitter to other amps. Then you have the line level. This is an XLR female connection. This is the input of the reamp section of the unit. You won't be using this if you're just using it as a DI. You'd connect the output of your interface and set it up appropriately in your DAW in order to feed the dry recorded DI signal out to the amp. Then you have mic level out which is a male XLR connector. This is your output of the DI. You connect this with an XLR to a mic input on your interface. This is how you get the dry signal DI recorded into your DAW. Last but not least is the unbuffered instrument input. This is for passive instruments like a Tele or a P-Bass to be plugged into. It's an extremely versatile piece of equipment and I recommend to Anybody who's fed up with having to buy multiple units to do a bunch of different instruments and reamp, get the Little Labs. If you do the math, the Little Labs Red Eye 3D is only $440 Canadian at Long & McQuaid. Now, all of the other passive DIs, active DIs, and reampers that are standalone are around $199 each. Add that together and you're at 600 bucks before any taxes hit you. So for getting all of that in one unit for $160 cheaper is a pretty good deal in my books. As always, leave a comment or question below. The description will have all the relevant links of everything we talked about today. Please subscribe if these videos are interesting to you. Hit the notification bell to let you know when the next one drops. This is Lucas signing off.